And there's a ray of hope for patients in need of an organ transplant after a successful pig heart transplant on a 57-year-old man in the United States of America. Now, three days after David Bennett received a pig heart at the Maryland Hospital, he appears to be in stable condition, even though doctors say they need more time to monitor his response and possible immune problems. Emily Chebet tells us more. 57-year-old David Bennett, who has a terminal heart disease, is responding well three days after being given a genetically modified pig heart, a first-of-its-kind surgery performed at the University of Maryland in the United States of America. According to the doctors at the Baltimore City in Maryland, it was a do-or-die for David Bennett, who was deemed ineligible for a conventional heart transplant or an artificial heart pump. We've never done this in a human. And I, I like to think that um, uh, we, we have given him a better option than what continuing his therapy would have been. But whether it's a day, week, month, year, I don't know. Doctors at the University of Maryland Medical Center were granted a special dispensation by the U.S. medical regulator to carry out the procedure on the basis that Mr. Bennett would otherwise have died. And according to the surgeon Bartley Griffith, who successfully transplanted the heart, the surgery will bring the world one step closer to solving the organ shortage crisis. The donor animal uh, was very stable and the, uh, the organ looks perfect. A report by doctors indicated that three genes that are responsible for rejection of pig organs by human immune systems were removed from the donor pig, and one gene was taken out to prevent excessive pig heart tissue growth. Six human genes responsible for immune acceptance were inserted, and according to Bennett's doctors, they will need to monitor him for days, weeks, or even months to see whether the transplant works to provide life-saving benefits. He will be monitored for immune system problems or other complications. Probably the biggest risk is now. Um, we seem to be past what we consider the hyperacute rejection phase that we would normally have seen in an animal organ that wasn't specially treated. Um, so we feel good about that one. So we're preparing for the next attack on his organ. We know that uh, the pig heart will be attacked by different soldiers in our body. Different immune um, players uh, can take it out. And we, we have designed a treatment plan in addition to the humanized, genetically edited heart to try to account for that. The possibility of using animal organs as transplant to meet the demand for human organs has long been considered. And using pig heart valves is already common in the U.S., the use of xenotransplantation in treatment typically involves transplantation of animal cells, tissues or organs to replace an injured part of the human recipient. Currently, the domestic pig is considered the best donor of the biological material because of its anatomical and physiological parameters that are similar to humans. In October last year, a team of surgeons successfully transplanted a genetically modified pig kidney into a woman who was brain dead in New York City. The recipient, however, had no hope of recovery based on her condition. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV.